Hey there, my name is Christina Suntorn Vaught, and I am the author of A Wish in the Dark, and I'm going to tell you what this book is about. So A Wish in the Dark is a fantasy story, and it's an adventure story, and it follows the lives of two young people that are here on the cover. Uh, the first is Fong, and Fong, he, the story starts off He's got kind of a, a tough start uh, to life. He was born in a place that is pretty much like a prison. He is an orphan. And the rule in the world where he lives is that if you were born in this place uh, and you don't have parents, you have to stay there until you turn 13. Now, Bong has a best friend named Somkit. And Somkit and Bong, they're, they're both orphans and they are best friends they're more like brothers and they help each other through everything and so they kind of you know help each other through but even so Bong hates it there and he really longs for a better life a more free life um, so one day he sees an opportunity to escape and he does um, the 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 place where the prison is located is on a river and so he escapes by sneaking into a boat that takes him down river where he gets off and um, and he runs away. So Fong has a mark on him that shows that he belongs to the prison and if anybody sees it they'll know that he ran away and they could turn him in and he'll have to go back. So he runs into the into the jungle and he finds a temple and in the temple there is a kind Buddhist monk who hides him and takes him in and uh, disguises Fong as a young monk. So I think maybe you can see from the picture that his head has been shaved so he's he's disguising himself as a monk in the temple. And he lives there for years and uh, is always worried about being caught but he starts to think you know maybe people have forgotten about him and that is when he encounters the next character in the story, and her name is Nook. And Nook is the daughter of the prison warden, uh, the man who ran the prison that Bong escaped from. And when Bong escaped, it kind of almost ruined her family. So she's been thinking about this boy for all these years, and when she sees him, she recognizes him. Uh, and to Nook, uh, she thinks that he broke the rules, you know, and Nook follows the rules. She's a really good girl, um, and she thinks the right thing to do is to turn him in and to have him face the consequences. So she becomes obsessed with turning him in. Of course, he can't go back to jail, and he runs away. And he runs and he runs, and she chases him all the way to this big city, it is called Chatana, and it's a magical city with magic lights, and there's all sorts of different people who live there, and Bong meets um, a lot of interesting people. I won't tell you who because that will ruin the story. Um, but he learns that the people of the city are really suffering, and Bong has a special ability inside himself that he could help them if he chooses to stay. But if he stays, Nook could discover him and take him back back to jail. So it's this real tug on him. Is he going to stay and help people or is he going to run and save himself? And to find out, you'll just have to read A Wish in the Dark. <laughs> Thanks.